Hi, uh, we're here with Alex uh, from Small Tech, a certified integration partner of Moodle and supporting us with their proctoring solution that is a bit special, I would say, that's why we certified it. Can you tell us a bit more the problem you solve and how the users benefit and the institutions benefit from Small? Sure, so we've been like 10 years so far um, supporting institutions. I think the keyword would be to build trust, no? I think mm -hmm. to support them to build trust on the online learning processes. It's true that because of pandemic and everything, I think teachers might not trust to like assess their students fully online. Mm -hmm. And there's where we try to support them, that academic integrity, credibility, that's an important fact for them. And our tool that fully integrates with Moodle, it's mm -hmm. pretty easy to use, to integrate, and helps them a lot, all mm -hmm. teachers or the whole institution, to improve that academic integrity and be able to continue working fully online or nowadays also just digital assessment on campus. No? That's mm -hmm. an important okay. um, part for them also. I understand. So proctoring has been a bit polemic sometimes because there are privacy concerns and all the data that gets collected. From what I know, Small does a pretty good GDPR job or has that very much in scope. Can you speak a bit more about what are the actions to sort of remediate this concern or, or this actual problem? Sure. So as European company, we from the beginning uh, were really focused on, on privacy issues. Mm -hmm. And since the beginning, it was designed you know, by GDPR and fully compliance. And from there, it's like it's the most strict um, regulation, we'd say, worldwide. And this is why also we always were focused on how to provide a service that could mm -hmm. help institutions and students because we have a lot of customers where students demand the online proctoring to be mm -hmm. able to study uh, around the world or anywhere at any time. No? And, and regarding implementing these kind of tools, it's important to like first re be really transparent with students, like, okay, tell them how they are going to perform those assessments with which mm -hmm. tools, to let them try before doing a real assessment so they can learn how to work the process and everything, ask if they have any doubts. Perfect. And then also on the institution side, it's important for them to have a, a free consent and, and also like do the impact assessment. That's something that in Europe uh, we do with all institutions and make sure that everything is implemented correctly and, and do a good onboarding uh, mm -hmm. with them. Yeah. Have you seen a special growth? You mentioned the pandemic, but is it some, some service or some tool that has a, has a booming market or how do you see the situation for so um, I think obviously there was a, like a peak in pandemic, mm -hmm. but the pandemic enabled to change people's mind on how things were being done or what could be done in the future. Mm -hmm. It obviously accelerated the digital transformation on, on, on institutions. Uh, speaking with a lot of model partners, they, they were telling also the same thing. You know? Like the last year, maybe or this year, they were like um, making strategic decisions or, mm -hmm. or thinking of, about what to do next with all what this that it has happening. And, but it's true with all institutions that we are speaking, uh, online learning is one channel that they want to try or want to invest. Not to, because here's a, a, an also really important aspect that we are seeing for the benefit of, of students, that is how we can improve accessibility to quality education. And, mm -hmm. and, and sometimes regulation uh, obliges you to do it in person, but doing that, uh, people may not be able to travel or to mm -hmm. study uh, abroad. No? And by providing that flexibility, uh, students will be able to study everywhere or at any mm, time absolutely. or while uh, working. This is the, the big challenge in, in the future, mm -hmm. the reskilling and everything. And we are seeing a big impact in, in Latin America, for example, people that are able to, while they are working, continue studying. And by doing it fully online, they might be able to also access to new opportun uh, job opportunities that might impact on their quality of life. So that's mm -hmm. like also an important aspect that we are trying to measure also with institution by surveys and, and, mm -hmm. and those things. Yeah. yeah, that's wonderful because it's there, there is obviously the, the economic aspect of digital learning, but we don't think about remote learners in the sense that they are in a location where they cannot physically travel or they don't have the time as mm -hmm. you mentioned. So it's perfect that you can support also this extra community of users that may right. ne get neglected otherwise. Right. Wonderful. Well, how is the conference going so far for you? Well, really, really good. I think, as you mentioned, we are 35 integration partners for the first mm -hmm. time. We have been always work with a lot of Moodle partners and Moodle users. But uh, we wanted to uh, commit more with the community because mm -hmm. uh, we think that there's going on a, a really positive impact on, on education. And, and about the, um, 
the event I think is really really good because post pandemic it's good to get to know mm -hmm. people in, in in person but not just like uh, people that all their Moodle Moodle studies are located in one country but from all around the world no like Absolutely. one mm -hmm. specific event that brings here everyone uh, and 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 that um, it's something that we have been like in these two days we have been speaking with people all around the regions uh, all continents and, mm -hmm. and that's really uh, interesting for for I think every people to to understand use cases from other countries or what's happening in other markets what uh, are the challenges that they are facing no? mm -hmm. that's really interesting yeah and, you know, yeah it's pretty global here well thanks so much for supporting it and thanks for being here thank you <laughs>